Have you ever dropped something in water and ever wondered why does one object float and the other sinks? Is it a magic? No, it's a pure science. Let's understand this using three main factors. And trust me, once you understand this, you will start looking at water in a different way. So coming to the first factor, density. Density simply means how tightly packed a particular material is. If the density of the object is greater than the density of the fluid, it will sink. If the density of the material is lower than the density of the fluid, it will float. Let's try to understand this with a simple example. Stone which has a higher density than water, it sinks. On the other hand, wooden block and oil having lesser density than water, they float. These are the golden rule for sinking and floating. Now the second factor is buoyant force. If you put anything in the fluid, it pushes the object upward. So if the weight of the object is more than the buoyant force it experiences in the fluid, it will sink. And if the weight of the object is less than the buoyant force it experiences, it will float. Now coming to the third factor, which is mass and surface area. So if objects have more mass, they will sink. And if objects have less mass, they will float. But then why heavy ships, they don't sink? Why do they float on the water? The answer lies in the concept of surface area. Because ships have a very large surface area, they experience very high amount of buoyant force because of which they float. On the other hand, if the surface area is less, then there are high chances that the object will sink. So next time someone asks you why something sinks or floats, then just smile and say that it's all because of density, buoyant force, mass and surface area. Thank you for watching this video and adding one more fact to your world. Subscribe to our channel for more such educational videos.